What does it look like when the Holy Spirit endorses or backs a life or a ministry? I want to talk to you about the signature of the Holy Spirit. When someone signs a check, they're using their signature, their authority, to release resources. What does the Holy Spirit's signature or sign nature look like? How do you know that the Holy Spirit is backing a life or a ministry or a message? Well, let's take a look at the first signature of the Holy Spirit. He signs his message with miracles. Mark chapter 16, verse 20 says, And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. If you're not getting miracles, it's time to start preaching the Holy Spirit's message. Remember this, God does not back our opinions or preferences or ideas or philosophies. The Holy Spirit only backs the Word of God. And He backs the Word, He backs His message with power. Matthew 7 is an interesting portion of Scripture, right around verse 21 and 23, where the Scripture says, Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Now, this is interesting because we see that there are individuals who are able to operate in power without having a right relationship with the Lord. One of the scariest truths you'll ever learn from Scripture is the fact that God will use you even if He doesn't know you. That's terrifying indeed. But this proves to us that the Word of God is so powerful. The Word of God is so precious. The Word of God is so important to the Holy Spirit that the Word of God is backed with power even when a hypocrite preaches it. Think about that. The Word of God is powerful even when a hypocrite preaches it. So, the Holy Spirit will always honor God's Word. He will always endorse God's Word. He will not anoint our opinions. He will not anoint our preferences. He will not anoint the philosophies of man and culture. The Holy Spirit will only back the Word of God. That's how powerful the Word is. That's how important it is. So, the Holy Spirit signs His message with miracles and power. Number two, the Holy Spirit signs His people with His presence. All believers have the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6.19 says, Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14 confirm that the Holy Spirit is present with you and I at salvation. And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, He identified you as His own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom He promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that He will give us the inheritance He promised and that He has purchased us to be His own people. He did this so we would praise and glorify Him. So the Holy Spirit is the seal of salvation. He's the proof that you belong to God. Now, the Holy Spirit will sign His message with miracles, but the Holy Spirit will only sign His people with His presence. Only the people of God can carry the presence of God. Anyone can walk in God's power to some degree if they're preaching the Word. Anyone can walk in God's power to some degree if God so chooses at any moment to use any individual for any purpose. But only the people of God can carry the presence of God. That's what distinguishes us from everyone else. Well, that's what Moses said, isn't it? He said, how will they know that we're distinguished from any other nation if your presence doesn't go with us? So the presence is what distinguishes you from the rest of the world. What a privilege. What an honor that we can carry the presence of the Holy Spirit, that God has marked us, consecrated us, set us apart by saying, these are my people, and I mark them, I sign them with my presence. You see, 
People can operate in gifts without knowing the glory. They can have the power without knowing the presence. They can preach the word, and that word will be backed with miracles and power. Why? Because God backs his word. The Holy Spirit signs the message with miracles. But only those who are redeemed, only those who call Jesus Lord, only those who are truly saved and who actually follow the Lord as the Lord, those are the ones who carry the presence upon their lives, and those are the ones who are marked, distinguished by God's presence. How you respond to the presence within you determines how evident that presence will be upon you. So we all have the presence of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. We all have the Holy Spirit within us if we are true believers. In fact, it's not possible to be a true believer without having the Holy Spirit. So the two come hand in hand together. You receive the Holy Spirit the moment you are saved. However, the evidence of that presence upon your life is determined by how you surrender to the Word of God, how you surrender to the direction of the Holy Spirit, how you carry, how you steward, how you're aware of, how you honor that presence. If you want that presence on your life to become more evident, start becoming aware of what you carry. Start honoring the presence of God by how you live, and it will continue to mark your life. So number one, he signs his message with miracles. Number two, he signs his people with his presence, and what a signature that is. Number three, the Holy Spirit signs his faithful with favor. Now, we know that God is no respecter of persons. So in that regard, in that way, God does not have favorites. This does not mean that God doesn't show favor. What's the difference? Well, let's read Proverbs chapter 3. I'm going to read verses 3 and 4. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. So here we see that there's a prerequisite for earning the favor of God. Some would say, well, that's Old Testament. Well, think of Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, in favor with God and with man. So if there are levels to it, that means you can grow in it. There are levels to favor. Now, God is no respecter of persons in that anybody can become favored if they follow and honor, obey, and fear God's word. Favor marks his faithful. Think about Joseph. Think about David. Think about Moses. Think about the patriarchs and the prophets, the people who encountered God in such a way that their lives were marked and distinguished forever. So any one of us can walk in the favor of God. That's why the scripture says he's no respecter of persons. But there is such a thing as God's favor. If you want to experience God's favor in your life, realize God is no respecter of persons, so he's not going to give favor to someone who isn't obeying his word. He's not going to give favor to someone who doesn't obey him. He will give favor to those who follow his instruction. He will give favor to those who are quick to respond when he speaks. He will give favor to those who are trustworthy with what he's given them. And so, as we walk in faithfulness, as we commit ourselves continually to the call of God, to the word of God, and as we come to submit ourselves more and more and surrender to greater degrees, we begin to walk in the favor of God. Open doors, powerful connections, important timings of certain things that will take place. God will do that for those who walk in faithfulness. The Holy Spirit will sign his faithful ones with favor. So number one, the Holy Spirit signs his message with miracles. Number two, he signs his people with his presence. Number three, he signs his faithful with favor. Once again, God is no respecter of persons. But what that actually means is that if you want the favor of God, you have to obey the word of God no matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you were born into a Christian family. It doesn't matter if your dad is the pastor. It doesn't matter if your family members have the favor of God. You 
have to walk in God's word. You have to walk in obedience. You have to respond to his voice and you have to do so faithfully. And the more faithful you are to obedience toward God, the more the favor will be released upon your life. So let's pray now. And let's ask the Holy Spirit to sign our lives. It's not a matter of getting the Holy Spirit to be on our side. It's a matter of getting on his side. It's a matter of obeying him and doing it the way he wants to do it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege of bearing the signature of the Holy Spirit. And I pray right now that you, Lord, would begin to unleash your power. Father, I pray that you would give us the ability to live as you've called us to live. Just right now, pause for a moment. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Allow his power to touch your life. Allow that presence to begin to surround you. Father, I thank you for your presence and your power. Thank you for your signature. Mark us, Lord. Mark us and let us never be the same. And help us to walk in a way that honors your signature upon our lives. We thank you that you're going to help us do it. We honor you in the name of Jesus. And I want you to say it because you believe it. Say, Amen. Here now is a question for conversation. In what other ways has the Holy Spirit shown you that he's with you? Tell me about it in the comment section right now. Make sure you're subscribed to Encounter TV on YouTube and click that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you receive notices when we put out new videos. You can also follow us wherever you're watching us. Now, I wanna share a scripture with you. It's a very familiar scripture, John 3:16. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. You know, one of the ways that we demonstrate our love is through our giving. For God so loved the world that he gave. Why did God send his son? Well, Jesus tells us that he came into the world to seek and to save the lost. That's why we do what we do. That's why we give. That's why we continue to create videos. That's why we continue to do live streams. We continue to do events around the world. We continue to offer the Holy Spirit School online and all of that is offered for free. Why do we give? Because we love and we demonstrate our love through our giving. We want to see souls saved. And I know that desire to see the lost saved, to see a generation turn toward the cross, that desire is in you to see that. You're generous, you're loving, you're giving, and you have a passion for souls. So join with us. Join with us in our efforts. Join hands with us and join hands with the thousands around the world who support this ministry, all for one cause, souls, that souls might be saved. Demonstrate your love for the Lord. Demonstrate your love for souls. Demonstrate your love for the gospel by giving. We give because we love. So stand with us. If you'll stand with us, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. You can give a one-time gift or you can become a monthly ministry supporter. Give a one-time gift today or become a partner today. And when you do, you'll know that you're supporting something that is changing lives, not just lives, but eternities. So whether you give a one-time gift or you become a monthly supporter, all of it goes to continue with the cause. All of it goes to help this ministry keep going and growing strong. One more time, davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. You can do a one-time gift or a monthly gift from anywhere in the world. Support the gospel. Join with us and let's win people to Jesus. Well, that's it. And until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.